104.7, The Cave, plays pure classic rock. 104.7, The Cave, Mike, the intern in the studio with Megan today. Another edition of Online Reviews. As always, the lawyers would like me to tell you that these are not our views as a company or station, merely reviews that we pretty much just stolen online, and we're going to read them to you. Well, Megan's going to read them to you. She's going to try to read them to you, and uh, <laughs> usually... She can barely get them out. Today, we are going somewhere we've never gone before, and that is to talk about movie reviews. You like movies? I like movies. You like movies? <laughs> Some of these are pretty good. I actually really like the cheesy ones, like those B-rated sci-fi movies. Those are my favorite. Those are good. Those are good. <laughs> not bad. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that I love them, but they have their place in the world. So, uh, again, Megan's never seen these before. I just pick them, and she tries to read them. First, we're going to be talking about, I think it's a movie called Dear John. Is that a movie? Oh, gosh. I'm assuming. Yeah. The woman who recorded <laughs> gave it five stars, so it's going to be a great review. So, uh, try and I do think it. it's, it's like one of those Nicholas Sparks ones, right? I think right? that I think that, I think you're right on the money with that, and I've never seen any of them. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> Dear John, she gave it five stars. Yeah, she did. Okay, Channing Tatum is smoking hot in the movie. He, everything I dream about, being with all my life, I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life with a guy like him by my side forever. But I know it's only a dream, but a girl can dream, right? This is all just one sentence. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> she was so excited when she was writing it. <laughs> he everything I ever wanted in a guy. He mind dream guy. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I always dream about meeting one day. I love soldiers. They so sexy to me. <laughs> I love all of his movies. He play in maybe one day. I will eat someone like him for a real. He a good guy to me. I wouldn't mind marrying someone like him. Oh my god, she has this character though, right? Like, yeah, right. That uh, scares me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's not stalkerish at all. So, uh, speaking of which, the next one we're going to be talking about is Wolf on Wall Street, and this guy wasn't happy with his Wolf on Wall Street experience. <laughs> All right, it's just one star. It says there were no wolves in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get to part two on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike and Megan back in the studio again. It's another edition of Online Reviews. Today we are doing uh, movie, re movie reviews. And um, as always, the lawyers would like me to tell you that these are not our views as a station or company. Merely reviews that people have put online that we've stolen and tried to read or figure out the meaning behind them. And today we're talking about movie reviews. Megan just talked about Wolves on Wall Street in a very serious Dear John review. Um, so uh, she's never seen these before. I just pick them up. I throw them in her face and she tries to read them. The next one we're going to be talking about is a review about the Grand Budapest Motel, which I love Wes Anderson and I love this movie. I thought it was a great movie, but this guy hey. only gave it two stars. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> the title is Grand Bad Pest Motel, LOL. <laughs> He turned LOL in the title. Oh, no. oh like he laughed at his own joke but had to type it. <laughs> God. Uh, it says, this movie was not ballin'. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the next one we're going to talk about is The Fifth Element, one of my favorite I movies. This movie, it's so good. <laughs> it's like the best. It is, but look at the why they gave him one star. Okay, it's one, it's one star. Too much science fiction. <laughs> I mean, look, what does that mean? Okay, then you don't like sci-fi. Don't watch it, you idiot. All right, so, uh, God. All right, the next one we're talking about is the Simpsons movie, and they weren't happy about this one either and only gave it one star. Okay, the back of Homer Simpson's head is Charlie Brown's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, kind of. <laughs> Except for the hair goes off the head, so it's not really accurate. Just the middle of the back of the head. But... Oh, <laughs> poor Homer. All right, uh, so uh, one more. The uh, movie, which I've actually never seen. I've heard it's good. 
Um, Cloudy with the chance of meatballs. I liked it. I thought it was cute. Okay, let's see. Gave it one star because not as advertised. I thought this was a documentary. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a cartoon. <laughs> I thought this was a documentary about Italian cooking in Seattle, and boy was I disappointed when a cartoon showed up at my door. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to the conclusion of online reviews on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, back in the studio with Megan this morning, another edition of online reviews. As always, these are not our views, merely views of others that we posted. Or not posted, we didn't post them, we're just reading the people that posted them. <laughs> Uh, today we're doing uh, movie reviews. We've heard uh, pretty much a bunch of haters just hating on things, you know? A bunch of, bunch of haters. Now, we no, talked about early on, you said that you like the cheesy, sappy movies. I honestly like uh, the next one we're going to talk about. I honestly liked it. It wasn't bad. I dated a girl in college whose dad really liked this movie for whatever reason. He really liked my big, fat Greek wedding. And so he watched it all the time. So one day I just watched it with him. I was like, this isn't bad. It's not. Oh my gosh. So, my mom uh, loves this movie. Megan, I know it's not a bad movie at all. But, you know, this guy obviously did not like it. <laughs> it's one star. And his, and his title is, uh. <laughs> eh, I don't get it. <laughs> I think you have to be white or something to get this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving right along. Uh, we're going to talk about The Dark Knight. Okay. Rest in peace, Heath. <laughs> Title is Action Packed, So Great for Teens, Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fear of heights, so every time Batman flew off buildings, I almost passed. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Golly. <laughs> What? Why is it like me? I'm sorry. Uh, I, on the next one we're going to talk about, I, I'm a with him on this one, or her. I'm not a big fan of musicals, with the exception of, like, the Beatles one they did, Across the Universe, uh, Grease, obviously, Grease, you can't go wrong with. Um, I think that's pretty much all the musicals I like. But this one is... Uh, not a big fan of musicals. I've actually never seen this. West Side uh, Story? I, I didn't know they made it into a movie, but I guess they did. Yeah, well, oh, I thought that it, I don't know, whatever. It's <laughs> 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 for West Side Story. <clears throat> Gives it one star. I hate musicals. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> right off the bat, like, why are you watching a musical then? Like, if you hate a certain genre, maybe you shouldn't be reviewing a movie about yeah, it. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my okay. god. Uh, and our final one today for this is about the movie Jury Duty. <laughs> uh, five stars. It's a classic. I watched this movie to prepare for jury duty. I now know what I need to do when I'm summoned to court. <laughs> Wrong. It has nothing to do with jury duty. <laughs> Megan, thank you. Thanks. 104.7 The Cave plays pure classic rock.